What's up, everybody? What007 here, and welcome back to a brand new Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links video. And in today's Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links video, I'm going to show you guys how to unlock Shark in his limited time event that's going to last till November 4th. I'm going to give you guys the tips and tricks on how to unlock him. It seems pretty easy to unlock him. And then afterwards, once we do unlock him, I'll go review his level up rewards and skills. So let's get into today's video. If you guys are excited for Shark being finally in Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links after waiting a month ever since Exo World came out, be sure to leave a like in the video and subscribe to the channel for more Duel Links content. Both Without further ado, let's get into today's Duel Links video. Of course, though, before we get into today's video, I gotta give a shout out to the Chaos Dragon Levineer members and the Mystery Treadwell Only Fan members. Thank you so much to Hasbro X3 and Hope to Cruise for being members at the Levineer tier. And thank you so much to Mr. Caleb and HFA Recon for being members at the Mystery Treadwell Only Fan tier. You guys are amazing and thank you for the continued support. Now, the first step that you need to do in order to unlock Shark is that you need to complete challenges one, two, and three in order to unlock him. For challenge one, you need to collect numbers and you need to get 30 of those right there. And that's just basically by dueling and getting these little symbols on the bottom right there. So most of you guys probably already got challenge one done. And then for challenge two, what you need to do right here is you need to collect 150,000 event points. And let me show you guys the farm deck that I personally use to farm it. And I'll also pop one up on screen if you guys can't build a farm deck that I use. So what I did to accumulate 150,000 event points is I used this Lunalite deck from ARNG Life. If you want to check out his video, I'll put it in the link in the description down below so you guys can get the full tutorial on how to use this deck but i use this deck right here to accumulate 150,000 event points against level 40 shark at the gate also what you guys can use too is you can use the ubel farm deck which is a very consistent farm deck that you can utilize so those are the two decks that i would recommend and then what you need to do is that when you got level 40 shark at the gate by battling him at level 10 20 and 30 you'll be able to unlock level 40 shark and then you can just utilize the luna Light farm deck or the ubel farm deck to farm against him and then accumulate 150,000 event points if you successfully do the farm correctly you should be able to get that amount of event points at like in minimum five duels so do that and get 150 event points now the next step in order to unlock shark is that we need to challenge him at level 50 when you unlock challenge three you're going to be able to battle this event shark right here which is really intense because shark is really angry at yuma right now so we have this intense duel that's going to go on here now this part of the tutorial video is going to be a little bit of a blind run through because this is the first time i'm battling him at level 50 as you guys can see we're basically firsting raging shark and it seems like raging shark has a larger amount of life points so i'm gonna give you guys my live reaction of what we need to do but i'm gonna assume that all we need to do is just defeat him before turn 10 because he actually has a skill right here called give up already that forces the duel to end at turn 10 but yeah i'm gonna go try out my yuma deck we're gonna see if i can get lucky against shark real quick let's hop into it and while i'm here let me go stack myself up real quick with all these boosters let's get into it whoa there's a shark drake just vibing on the field that's crazy dude that's crazy bro what is going on here okay our extra cards popping can we get pot of greed oh i'll take a monster reborn okay so i'm gonna summon goblinberg here and i think and you know what we're gonna go for a chill play right here we're gonna go into gaga -ga golem yeah we're gonna do that and then next up what i'm gonna do here is that we're gonna summon into gaga -ga samurai now nah, let's go into utopia let's do it number 39 utopia boom bada bang there we go okay we're just going to do a simple play. We're going to summon Utopia and take out his monster. I just realized he has 10,000 light points. Hold up. I just noticed that. Bro. And he's summoning into Shark Drake right now. Bro. I won't skip this animation for you guys. So let's take a look at number 32 Shark Drake's animation. This animation is so nice, bro. This one is actually insane. And I think it's a little better than Utopia's in my opinion. Like that just looks sick right there. I'm happy to see this in the game. But bro, I'm not ready, dog. Okay, we're gonna negate that real quick. I ain't about that life, dog. Okay, sweet. Another coat. I'm gonna summon Gaga Ga's sister, activate her ability, and search for uh, Gaga Ga Bolt. Next up, I'm gonna activate Gaga Ga Bolt and destroy Shark Drake. Get that fool out of here. We're gonna summon into Gaga Ga Coat right here, and then activate Gaga Ga sister's ability so that we can bring both of these to level six. We go into the Xyz summon of that. And then while we're here, and we got Monster Reborn thanks to our extra card EX Crystal, let's just yoink Shark Drake. Give me, give me, give me, give me. We just, we literally just stole his Shark Drake, bro. Okay, so we'll be good to go from here, honestly. And then while I'm at it, let me activate Sword Breaker's ability so we don't die to any, uh, like, fish monsters. Let me trigger that Sea Serpent ability real quick. We're gonna go boom. Oh, dude, wait, I just one shot at him. I don't know what triggered the ability to like times three that damage dude or whatever the case may be, but like, I, what the heck? Why did we one shot him with 15,000 points of damage? Like, don't get me wrong, I'll take it. But like, okay, that's crazy. 
That's actually crazy. Let me know in the comment section down below what triggered that to happen, but I'll take it, dude. Look at this, guys. Looks like this world's also in trouble because of the numbers, but that's what makes it fun. I haven't been this fired up in a while. The numbers are only tough because they have powerful effects, but once I figure out their effects, I can figure out how to counter them. You and Astro, you did a lot for me in the real world, so I'll help you out in this world. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Shark turning around for the better. I love it. I love to see it real quick. There we are, boys. And now we can access Monarch of the Deep Sea number 32. Sweet. I really hope that the next main box gives us number 32 Shark Drake soon. Because I don't know if the card's that OP. But it's nice to see. It is nice to see that we finally have Shark and Duel Links. Now we have our four Zaxel characters in the game. Let's go. So on to the review for all of his skills and level up reward cards. The first skill that we have right here is number 32 Shark Drake. Where if you activate this skill, you just get to add number 32 Shark Drake into your extra deck immediately. And what's really cool too is that if your light points are 2,000 or below, you can also return a Shark Drake from your graveyard back to your extra deck. So really cool skill right there to activate Shark Drake. And yeah, if you have like a really cool like water exceeds deck that you want to try out, might as well trigger the skill to get the access to this card because this card's not too bad. Shark Drake, if you guys don't know, once per turn, when it, this attacking card destroys an opponent's monster by balance in the graveyard, you can detach an exceeds material from this card and special summon the destroyed monster to your opponent's side of the field in attack position and make it lose a thousand attack. And when you make it happen, you can do an additional attack with this card. So potentially you can OTK your opponent with this uh, exceeds monster, which is really cool. Next up at level three, we get Big Jaws. At the end of the battle phase, when this card attacks, banish it. Nothing too crazy, but it's an 1800 beat stick. That's a three star. So if you want to play a shark deck, there you go. But I probably wouldn't recommend that card. At level seven, we have this card right here called Fish and Kicks. If you have three or more banished fish, sea serpent, or aqua type monsters, target one card of the field and banish it. Ooh, that's actually kind of cool. Now, I don't remember how easy it is to banish fish, sea serpent, and aqua type monsters in the game, but being able to banish cards, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's a very interesting card. At level 10, we have Aqua Jet right here. Target a face up fish, sea serpent, or aqua type monster control. It gains a thousand attack. Basically, with this card right here, it's like a blistering wind specifically for sharks, so that's cool. There's also a skill we'll take a look at later in today's video that co actually combos with Aqua Jet, which is cool, so. We'll take a look at that but yeah it's an anime card that combos with big jaws you guys have probably seen it if you watch this excellent anime so it's, it's nice to see the card in the game even though it's not that good at level 13 we get numbers rules i won't talk about this uh skill not too much because human astro already has it in the game but it's very cool to see that shark has it too Level 14, another copy of Big Jaws. At level 16, another copy of Fish and Kicks. At level 18, another copy of Aqua Jet. At level 20, we get Magic Combo right here. Can be used to turn it Big Jaws as normal summon. You can play one Aqua Jet face down from your deck. This skill can be only used once per turn and twice per duel. Not that good of a skill, in my opinion, but like I said, it's clearly a reference to the anime. In the anime, that was one of Shark's early game combos with Big Jaws combo with Aqua Jet to get that spicy 2800 attack. So clearly this is just a reference to the anime, which is really cool right there. But no, I don't know if this will be seen any play because I don't know if you're going to want to rock a specific skill just for Big Jaws, which banishes itself um, at the end of the battle phase. I guess if you want to combo it with uh, Fish and Kicks, I guess that's one thing to consider. But still, it's still mediocre in my opinion. Level 21, this is cool. We actually have Black Ray Lancer. This card right here is a rank three dark Beast Warrior Exceeds effect monster. It takes two level three water monsters. Once per turn, you can detach one Exceeds material from this card to target one face of monster in the field, negate the target's effects till the end phase. This card is 2100 attack and 600 defense. Not too shabby of an Exceeds monster, especially for the fact that this card is available just from leveling up Shark. It's not the most crazy and overpowered thing in the world, but I like it. It's nice to see this card in the game. And there's also a skill that we can farm for that combos with black ray lancer so thumbs up from me at level 23 you get another copy of big jaws which i believe is our third copy of this card at level 25 you get fish death charge tribute one fish type monster to target one card in the field destroy that target and if you do draw a card let me go check if this card's already in dueling because i don't know if we have it in the game yet oh okay yeah so mako tsunami had this card in the game too but now we have access to another copy of this card thanks to shark and it's not that bad of a card because you get to sack off your fish type monsters to blow up a card and then draw a card later so it's kind of like a two for two type of combo but it's pretty cool I actually like this. This is actually really cool to see that we got another copy of this card. Yeah, because Mako had this card at level 40, so now we can probably get our two other copies of this card from Shark to get three copies of Fish Depth Charge. That's awesome to see. That's awesome. Back to taking a look at Shark's level up reward cards. At level 30, we have another copy of Aqua Jet. That's super mediocre. I'm kind of disappointed about that. Are you kidding me? Why is that level 30 we get another copy of Aqua Jet? 
it would make more sense if fish death charge was the level 30 level up reward that's disappointing the only two level up reward cards that are cool is just black gray lancer and fish death charge other than that these level up rewards are super 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 mediocre in my opinion but still let's go take a look at sharks uh skills because some of them are not too bad first one we're going to take a look at is a farmable uh, skill for shark you're getting on my nerves can be used during your next turn after your monster is destroyed by battle or card effect increase the attack of one rank four or lower water exceeds monster by 500 till the end of the turn this skill can only be used once per turn and twice per duel this skill is kind of okay. It's nice that you can boost your uh, water exceeds monsters like Leviathan Dragon, Shark Drake, Black Gray Lancer, etc. by 500 because that's pretty good through a skill. But still, the fact that you need to have a monster to get destroyed by battle or card effect in order to trigger this kind of makes it not worthwhile in my opinion. I feel like just utilizing some other ones like Overlay Gang or whatever the skill in the game that allows you to boost the attack of your Xyz monster times the amount of uh, materials that's attached to it. I think that skill is going to be more worthwhile than this one right here. So I would brush aside this one personally. If I'm missing something about the skill, let me know in the comment section. But eh, that's good. I'm not really feeling it. Next up, we're going to take a look at Territory of the Sharks. The level of all water monsters you control becomes four until the end of the turn. The skill can only be used once per turn and twice per duel. The skill can only be used if you begin the duel with an extra or a deck slash extra deck that contains no monsters other than water monsters. Now, maybe in the future, this skill would be really cool if there is any specific um, Xyz monsters that are water and they are rank fours. Maybe this skill will be good for it in the future. But right now, this skill doesn't is not going to see any play until we get Shark Drake into the game. Next up, let's go take a look at this skill called Territory of the Sharks. The level of all water monsters you control becomes four until the end of the turn. This skill can only be used once per turn and twice per duel. This skill can only be used if you begin the duel with an extra deck slash deck that contains no monsters other than water monsters. And this is a farmable skill for Shark. And again, very mediocre skill at this current moment. Now, maybe in the future, this skill will be really good when there's going to be a lot of rank four Xyz water monsters in the game. And you're going to want to utilize this skill to basically like spam out a bunch of like low level fish monsters, switch them all the four and then go for a spicy rank play. But since Shark Drake is not in a box right now and we don't have any other really good rank four Xyz monsters in the game, this is going to be pretty useless right now. Like this is going to be pretty useless because you can only trigger the skill if you only have water monsters in your deck. So. I'm not feeling the skill. Maybe down the road it'll be good, but right now, thumbs down for me. The next skill we're gonna take a look at for Shark is Shark's Revenge. Can be used when your life points are lower than your opponent's. Increase the attack of the rank four or lower water Sea Serpent type Xyz monster by 1500 per three Xyz materials to the end of the turn. This skill can only be used once per duel. Now, if I'm reading this correctly, I don't think you can trigger this skill unless your monster has three Xyz materials. So, for example, with Shark Drake right here, Shark Drake is a Sea Serpent monster that has three materials when you summon it. So, with that skill that we're talking about right here, you can boost this card attack by 1500 and boost it up to 4300 attack, which is really good. But I don't think you'd be able to use this with Leviathan Dragon if it only has two materials. Still, this skill is unusable right now because of the fact that we don't have Shark Drake as an unlockable card through a box. But once Shark Drake is unlockable through a box, you want to combo it with Shark's Revenge. You can definitely get some spicy OTK stuff against your opponent because what you can do right here is that you can play stuff like uh cosmic cyclone get rid of your opponent's back row get ready for shark's revenge and then spam summon out your uh shark drake and just otk your opponent that's something that you can definitely do right here so this skill has the potential to be good if i'm reading this correctly uh, but we don't have shark drake in the game yet as a unlockable card through a box so for now it's useless because there's no other uh, rank four lower or sea serpent Xyz monsters in the game that I know of that can have three materials on it right away. But once Shark Drake add, gets added to the box, this skill is going to be deadly for sure. The next skill we're going to take a look at is Overlay Removal. This skill states send all Xyz materials for one rank four or lower Xyz monster you control to the graveyard. This skill can only be used once per duel. And honestly, depending on what deck that you need to play, this potentially could be a really good skill. Because sometimes, like for me personally with like my Leviathan deck, 
what happens is, is that I want to have a bunch of light and dark monsters in my graveyard. And if I'm going to go the Xyz route, what sucks about Xyz summoning is the fact that those overlay materials are going to get stuck on my monster. Therefore, I can't special summon it to Leviathan. But with the skill like this right here, I can basically spam summon my Xyz monster, pitch all those materials that are on that monster to the graveyard, and then I can uh, go for a Leviathan play with overlay removal. So that's like the first thing that I can think of in the head from my personal experience. But there's probably some other decks out there that need to utilize the graveyard and they can use overlay removal to get those Xyz materials into the graveyard so this skill won't work for every deck but it is a cool generic skill that could see play definitely in the future too like i like this skill i think this skill could be good in the future not right now but definitely good and other than that i think that's actually going to be it for all the exclusive skills for shark right here and i don't think that shark is that shabby of a character the event itself that we can farm against shark gives us leviathan dragon and shark drake which is really cool and we get that cool trap card for fish decks and we get that black rare lancer skill which is cool too what sucks though is that it does seem like that there was one skill that was comboed or that got leaked that is actually not with us in the game right now it's basically one that you can utilize full armored black ray lancer and that skill is not available yet in the game so we'll have to wait and see for that one maybe we'll be able to get that skill in a future unlock event for shark when they repeat this event later on in the game but other than that though it's actually going to be it for me for reviewing shark and all that stuff right there so i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you guys did leave a like in the video down below subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and be sure to check out my content later on the day and all that stuff right there i don't know how to outro hope you guys enjoyed the video have yourselves a good one